So if you follow world news or world events or you happen to live um, in Europe, you, you might have heard about this scandal that's currently um, brewing in the, in the UK government, and the, the conservative government. And that is that um, the primary fundraiser for the uh, conservative party, who was also the party co-chairman, I think his position was, um, invited, uh, there was an undercover interview in which he was discussing with the undercover reporter uh, what kind of money they had to donate in order to have dinner with uh, David Cameron, the current prime minister. And he was basically saying, well, you know, don't bother donating 10,000, 20,000 pounds. If you donate, I think it was like 200,000 pounds then you'll get a meeting with David Cameron and you'll get good access. Now, this guy's been sacked. Uh, David Cameron saying, oh, well, he did this, you know, he was made a terrible mistake, but I wasn't, I wasn't supporting this. I wasn't behind this. So it's all just a huge misunderstanding. And, you know, all of that kind of usual bullshit. Um, now, I hope this has big consequences and I hope that it damages the conservative government. Um, for one thing, because I don't like conservative governments. For another, because it was a pretty lousy thing to be doing, raising money by basically selling access like that. Uh, but the, the, the other point about this is, which really no one discusses because everyone knows it anyways, which I don't even know why I'm making this video, is that the mistake that this guy, this fundraising guy, this co-chairman of the party made was that he said these things out loud instead of implying them strongly. If he'd been going around having a nice lunch with people and saying, oh, well, you know, isn't it nice that you might be donating money to the party and um, they, uh, Mr., you know, uh, Prime Minister Cameron's always interested in business connections. Um, and then basically just insinuating strongly enough that you could get access if you uh, gave enough money, then there would be no problem because that's how politics everywhere works. That's how lobbying works in general, right? It's all based on insinuation. Little gifts, but nothing that goes across any huge boundaries. Little insinuations and then one hand washes the other. You give your donation, and what you want to happen happens and no one ever needs to say those magical dangerous words of you need to pay this much for access or you need to pay this much for the law to get passed because that's dangerous and fatal but accepting some money uh you know with with absolutely no guarantees but wink wink nod nod that's perfectly fine and that's bullshit and that's why we need campaign finance reform for one thing and we need general reform of the entire lobbying apparatus not just in the uk but in the us i mean how many lobbyists do you have professionally like ten thousand or something just in washington in australia everywhere this money is corrosive it's a cancer people talk about corporatism the reason why corporatism is the cancer it is tearing away eating away at democracy is this kind of stuff and the thing is when they say it out loud and they get busted then we can get rid of them but when they don't say it out loud the money still flows but everyone's used to it and just takes it as something normal and that ha that should really stop we should really because tracking money isn't really that hard right if you have a politician um, you can check where the mo the donations are coming from. Uh, if they suddenly spend a lot of money on a campaign that is out of nowhere, then you know where it, that they're doing something dodgy. So if we were financing everything publicly, then people couldn't come along and do this kind of stuff. But because we're not doing that, and because these things aren't illegal, basically as long as you wink, wink, nudge, nudge, everything's fine, we run into this all of the time. And most of the time, they won't be stupid enough to say it out loud for a tape. They'll just do the kind of Abramoff thing. And now Abramoff got busted um, after ages of doing what he's doing. But there's thousands of other people who aren't quite so, uh, quite so far reaching in their endeavors. Um, they still horribly manipulate the political process. But 
they just know how to dial it down enough so that they're not going to be able to be held legally accountable for these things. Um, get money out of politics. It's really as simple as that for me. Get all money, all private money out of politics. No more donations, no more anything. Public funding for everything at every stage of every campaign, no exception.